I was thinking to myself this morning is that I need more time in the day to make videos. In fact, I've got a couple edited, but they need some intros and they need to be voiced over. So where am I going to find this time? My drive time. I'm going to maximize my drive time. I don't know if this will work for every video, but I know it will work for this one. So this is an intro to the video you're about to watch. Longtime customer, as usual, uh, they called me. They said a dishwasher that I installed a year ago, a little over a year ago. I don't know how long ago it was. It was last year, like a full year, uh, is leaking. And they were able to shut the water off to the dishwasher. Like, man, it's a brand new, nice $600 dishwasher. What the heck's leaking? Thought maybe it could be the connection from the supply line to the water valve. So I go over there, and this is what I find. Well, this is the kitchen. Yeah, this kitchen is also going to be the next project for me that I start, well, in about a week. But today, I gotta get their dishwasher back up and running. And let me get this all set up for you and show you what I found. Right there is your dishwater, <laughs> dishwasher water valve. Water comes up through the floor and into here. And right up in there, I'll pull this down in a second. I wanna show you what it looked like um, when they discovered the leak. So I'm going to go turn the water back on in the basement so you can see. Initially I thought, oh, it just has to be this connection right there from the supply line to the, the electronic valve there. So I'm going to go quick turn this on and show you what it looks like. Oh shoot, it's leaking even more. So you can see it's coming out of the, the top there. It's kind of like an electric solenoid valve. I don't want to let it run too much. I'm going to go quick turn that off. As soon as I turn the water off, it stopped leaking. What do you, what do you know? It's a little drop there. So I've already unscrewed this right here. This just lifts off and comes down. So as you can see, there is no water coming from here. It's coming from right up here. I'm out of breath from running up and down the stairs. Oops. So I just unplugged this. So that's free on the top now. I'm going to get some other rags to shove in here because when I disconnect this hose back here, this black hose, uh, water is going to come out. And also water is going to come out when I disconnect this. So this is much easier when you're not trying to film it. It is a kind of a limited space actually. So and I've got all these lights pointed at it. This clamp right here you just need to get a pair of pliers on that, squeeze it together, and move it forward. Squeeze and hold. And no, taking the dishwasher out would not be easier. Come on. It took me a long time to get this dishwasher in here. You can't see this, but oh, there we go. All right, pull this thing out here. Hey, now that I got this out, there's a lot of slack in this hose from the basement, so I'm just pulling it out here. Filter looks pretty clean, but right in there, 
that joint somehow it's leaking here's the replacement looks virtually identical to the one I just took out I mean identical that looks to be in good condition like I said this is only a year old so everything's still in good shape except for the parts that leak I just slid that back over. This is going to be a pain in the back. There we go. A little further. Oh, there we go. All right. This thing seems real flimsy. Back over there. I'm gonna go turn it on and test it before I screw the bracket to the dishwasher. So far, no leaks. water that uh, white thing there where is it right there that's also a, I believe a pressure reducer reduces the pressure that uh, is going into the dishwasher I guess it does work I'm going to look at underneath this thing for more leaks while I'm under here. Whew. Wasn't that fun? Of course, it really wasn't difficult at all. Just hard fitting in there with the, the lights and the camera. You can see why this job was I think it was getting the old one out that was a pain. See that foot back there? No, you don't. Let me see this one. Oh, that's much better. See how high that foot is there? And this foot right here? Because there's a there's several layers of flooring um, right there. So all this flooring is coming out on top of this hardwood. All the cabinets are coming out. And I'll be taking these appliances out and refinishing this hardwood floor. Yeah. It's going to be a big one. Um, also, all the electrical is getting replaced. Every bit of it. All new lighting circuit, all new small appliance circuits. Of course, there'll be all GFI circuits. Built in, built in, uh, whatchamacallit here? What is that? Double oven? Yes. Double oven. All right, I got to get back to the current remodel that I'm on. And so I get that thing done and get this one started. Now, if you're still around to the end, you're probably wondering, well, where did you get the water, the, the replacement part? How'd you get it so quick? Well, uh, there's appliance repair stores. They're usually in an industrial area. They don't have much of a storefront. They're for professionals that repair appliances. 
and I know where there's a gigantic one. They have just about every part for every new and old appliance. Um, you get the model number of your dishwasher or your refrigerator or your washing machine, your dryer, you know, uh, you know how it goes. Get the model number and you can, you can go there to the parts counter and they will whip open a manual and you can pick, oh yeah, there's the part right there. I found mine online. Uh, I went to geparts.com, that's General Electric for the, the dishwasher, found an exploded view of the uh, the dishwasher and I found okay there's the valve it's number 744 on this I look over and there's the part number and I could have ordered it online for $23.95 instead I took that part number called up the appliance part store locally and said hey do you have this part number yes we do it's $25 we have it in stock I went straight there picked it up went back to the house and put it right in and you, you come out looking like a miracle worker now another big question is how much do I charge for something like that because I've done so much work for this customer and I'm about ready to start their a full crazy kitchen remodel um, I'm not charging really anything it'll just it just gets rolled into the future work you look like you have exceptional customer service, which I do, and they can count on you when anything goes wrong. So I'm the first call when anything goes wrong with their house. Give this video a like, share it with your friends, your family, your mistress, and 